Now what I want to see it's to add all those milestones to the timeline. For that I will go and I will get the timeline. So here up I click in order that we get the timeline. So you see that some of the milestones I had already defined them and they are already set on the timeline as milestone. For example here the date when we are going to start into production is reported on the timeline and here the last uh, project steering committee is also reported on the timeline. Why do I do that? Like that the members of the steering committee can understand uh, the, the important issues meaning that this is the date of the production this is the last time that we meet about this project so how can I do that how can I add elements to the timeline when there are milestones for this I take here one of the tasks and I will go into information about that task but this time into general information and you see here that I can ask the milestone to be displayed on the timeline so I do that and we see I will have to, to move the, the window through which we, we see the actual situation we see here I've added the plan so I have here the dat date when the plan has to be given set on the timeline I will also add another one which is here the project approval so it's exactly the same operation I just have here once I went into information to say okay display it please on the timeline so you see that I have two things which are really close here one is the project approval that I can have and slide on the side and the other one is the plan so you see also that I can adjust those uh, things here so you see that I have the important points into my uh, timeline and I could like that add all those elements to the timeline what I can also do it's to add a milestone not only to a date which is of um, zero day but I can also add some milestone to a task for this I select the task and what I want to say is that I would like to have a milestone when I'm done with the integration here so to do that I double click in order to go into the um, task information and I will set it as a milestone and you see here in the advanced dangle in the advanced window in the advanced tab I have here below mark task as a milestone so I will do that click now on OK and we'll see what happens you see here that the complete duration of the task has been removed by one milestone at the end of the task so let's now report this maybe also on the timeline we go to general and then display in timeline we'll see the milestone so with that we have a timeline where we can see project approval a plan has to be delivered on the 25th of August we have here the end of the functional test which are scheduled for the 14th of October will be in production the 3rd November and we have the last committee here by the 26th November you might say wait a minute when do we take the decision to go into production you are absolutely right when do we take the decision to go into production so we'll see this on this panel and I just add here go to the timeline so like that I can summarize that we have defined now project approval a plan has to be delivered 
will finish the functional test by the 14th October. The group for production will decide on the 21st of October and we are in production from the 3rd of November and will close the project by the 26th way with the milestones to present the important event into your project to the steering committee with this diagram. So see you soon! Bye!